Welcome dear learners to second part of the video on job analysis. My name is Chainika Senapati and I am from Maniram Devan School of Management and I am going to discuss about the various aspects related to job design and techniques of job design. So after going through this video, you will be able to describe the concept and objectives of job design and also you will discuss about the techniques of job design. Let us first discuss about the meaning of job design. The human resource managers have realized that the design of a job has considerable influence on the productivity and job satisfaction. You know, poorly designed jobs often result in boredom to the employees and it may you know, uh, lead to increased turnover, job dissatisfaction, low productivity and an increase in overall cost of the organization as a well. whole. All these negative consequences can be avoided with the help of proper job design. It helps in developing appropriate design of job to improve efficiency and satisfaction. So job design can be defined as it is a deliberate and systematic attempt to structure the technical and social aspect of work so as to improve the technical efficiency and job satisfaction. When we talk about objectives of job design, the first objective of job design is to meet the requirements of the organization such as high productivity, technical efficiency, and quality work. The second objective is to satisfy the needs of the empl individual employees, such as you know, job satisfaction in terms of interests, challenges, and achievement. The next objective is to integrate the needs of the individual with the requirement of the organization. When we talk about techniques of job design, we have to mention about work simplification, job rotation, job enlargement, job enrichment, Autonomous group working and high performance work design. And, uh, these are some of the you know popular techniques of designing the job. And uh, let us discuss about this one by one. First, let us discuss about work simplification. In this technique, the job is simplified or specialized. A given job is broken down into small subparts, and each part is assigned to one individual. To be more specific. Work simplification involves, you know, mechanical pacing of work, then repetitive work process such as those who are on the assembly line, then working on only one part of a product, you know, predetermining tools and techniques, then restricted uh, interaction among the employees and few other more skills requirements. Work simplification is done so that the less trained and less paid employees can do these jobs. And work simplification is adopted when job designers feel that the jobs are not specialized enough. Let us discuss about the second technique that is the job rotation. Job rotation which implies movement of employees from job one job to other. With job rotation, a given employee performs different jobs but more or less jobs of the same nature. On the positive side, it may be said that a job rotation is likely to increase intrinsic reward uh, potential of a job uh, because of different skills and abilities needed to perform it. The organization stands to benefit uh, because workers become competent in several jobs rather than only one and knowing a variety of jobs improves the worker's self-image, it provides you know, personal growth and makes the worker uh, more valuable to the organization. You know, periodic job change uh, can also improve the interdepartmental cooperation, then em uh, employees become more, you know, understanding of each other's problem. So when we talk about the negative side, it may be stated that job rotation uh, may not have much impact on employee enthusiasm and efficiency. So it depends on the employee's motivation. Let us discuss about job enlargement. So it involves expanding the number of tasks or duties assigned to a given job. Job enlargement is naturally opposite to jobs uh, works simplification uh, adding more you know tasks or you know duties to a job does not mean that the new skills or abilities are needed to perform it uh, there is only a horizontal expansion I would say. so even a college teacher who uh, you know who was teaching 12 hours per week uh, has agreed to teach two more hours more so it does not mean that any significant change is there in his or her career Again, when we discuss about the job enrichment, uh, job enrichment seeks to improve both you know, task efficiency and human satisfaction by bringing greater scope 
for personal achievement and recognition. You know, more challenging and responsible work and more opportunity for individual advancement and growth. An enriched job will have more responsibility and also it has autonomy and uh, more variety of tasks and more growth opportunities. When we compare job enlargement and job en enrichment, uh, job enlargement can be you know, considered as horizontal loading and job enrichment can be considered as vertical loading. Now let us have a look on uh, autonomous or self-directed teams. A self-directed or an autom autonomous team is an intact group of employees who are responsible for a whole work progress or a segment that delivers a product or a service to an internal or external customers. To varying degree, team members work together to improve their operations, handle day-to-day -day problems and plan and control their work. Highly effective teams are composed of groups of you know, committed individuals who trust each other, have a clear sense of purpose about the work, are you know, effective communication within and outside the team. They make sure that everyone in the team is involved in the decision making process affecting the group and uh, they follow a process that helps them plan, make decisions and ensure quality of their work. When we talk about a high performance work design technique, it is a means of improving performance uh, in an environment where positive and demanding goals are set. It starts from you know, principles of autonomous group working and develops an approach which enables groups to work effectively uh, together in situations where the rate of innovations is very high and the operational flexibility is important and uh, therefore the need of employees to gain and apply new skills quickly with minimum supervision is required. So dear learners, those were the techniques of a job design. Uh, with this we have come to the second part of the video lesson on job analysis and in this second part of video we discuss about the concepts, the objectives of job design and also we get a fair idea on techniques of job design. In the third part of the video, we will discuss about job evaluation and its process and also we get some idea on the concept of job enrichment. Thank you for watching this video and stay safe.